weekly sit down with local agricultural leaders and businesses. This is Tailgate Conversations. Presented by Pinnegar Chevrolet. So today we are at the Branson Veterinary Hospital to talk about preventative care with your dogs and cats. Are you ready to go meet Dr. King? Yeah. Okay. Well, Dr. King, take us through your day to day. You're seeing um, small animals. Yes. Every single Primarily day. Primarily dogs and cats, but sometimes a ferret or a, a rat maybe is thrown oh, into the mix. I don't think I need to be here for that. <laughs> so what's your day to day look like? Um, I'm here Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and every other Saturday until noon. A couple uh, mornings of the week I'm doing surgery. It's mm -hmm. usually routine procedures, spaying and neutering, maybe a dental cleaning. So between uh, the, the appointments with your clients and, and the scheduled surgeries, I think the number one message you, you shared with me that you want to relate to those clients is preventative care for those dogs and cats. So Absolutely. Take me through what that means and what we can do at home. Well, I would say the first step is just making sure that everybody brings their pet to the vet at least once a year, so every 12 months. If there is a problem, the goal is to catch it early mm -hmm. when we can hopefully treat the problem. And then with the preventative care, that's anything from vaccinations, depending on what the pet is coming into contact with. You know, an inside pet would get different vaccinations than a pet that travels. And then flea and tick prevention is a big one in this area, especially tick prevention for dogs and cats and then heartworm prevention is a very important part of preventative care in dogs. So I know that uh, the teeth are the most valuable um, item when it comes to the health of an animal because they've got to eat. And yes. so what can we do to make sure that our uh, dogs and cats teeth are healthy? Yeah, and I would say dental disease is probably the number one problem really? that I am finding on an exam. I think usually by the time a pet's three to four years old, I would say 70 to 80 percent of the pets that I'm seeing already at that age need their teeth cleaned. Mm -hmm. So just like we go to the dentist, you know, a couple mm -hmm. times a year for a cleaning and a polishing, that's my goal for my patients is to do that, you know, every year is ideal, but for sure every other year, very similar to when we go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. And then um, any, you know, teeth that look diseased on the x-ray, then we're going to want to extract those teeth and get those out of the mouth before they cause an even bigger problem, like an abscess tooth would be a good example. Okay. Well, that kind of leads into my next question is what type of questions um, do you get regularly that you answer um, to, to many of the different patients, whether it's dog or cat? Again, a lot of them fall on what's the best preventative, so what is safe as far as flea and tick products, or what's the best diet for the lifestyle of the pet or the age of the pet, um, is it safe to take my pet certain places, sometimes I'm filling out health certificates mm -hmm. so the pets can travel with their owners. Um, we live in a vacation town here in Branson, That's right. so we do see a lot of pets that live full time in an RV with okay. retired couples yeah. and so they have different needs because they're traveling all over the United States so we have to think about not only what diseases they could come in contact here in the Ozarks but what might they need to be prepared for as they travel somewhere else. Okay, there's two big preventative things mm -hmm. I think you could talk about in this area heartworm disease in dogs so that's spread by one mosquito bite is all it takes for a dog to get heartworm so with the warm climate all the waterways in the Ozarks, wow. mosquitoes are obviously very mm -hmm. prevalent and it can, one mosquito bite could happen year round. So we recommend monthly year round prevention for heartworms. Um, if they go, un, if it goes unprevented and, and the dog gets heartworms, it can be deadly if mm -hmm. not caught early and then treated early. A little preventative chew every 30 days can stop something really devastating from happening. And that's dogs happening. of all ages? And that's dogs of all ages. We normally start puppies on prevention during their first or second puppy visit, so around eight weeks of age. Mm -hmm. And then they take that preventative again every 30 days, year round for life. Wow. And then bobcat fever in cats. So bobcat fever is a tick-borne disease spread by the Lone Star Tick. It's almost, sadly, almost always fatal in cats. Mm -hmm. It attacks their immune system very quickly, and it's a blood parasite. Mm -hmm. So the University of Missouri is doing a lot of research to try to come up with a effective treatment for that. But again, prevention is better than the cure. Uh -huh. So either keeping your cat strictly indoors uh -huh. or trying to you know, check them daily for ticks and make sure that you're regular on tick preventative. 